So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So it's going to be my bonsai Akaina showcase. I finally got him. He's special, pretty good. Says defense is here for two turns. Reduces paralysis and attack down by five turns. If you have four or more quick or side, you also get a two turn death down conditional. So a self proc death down conditional. I will say that he's not as good <laughs> as I thought he would be since he's been very high. But I had to remember that he's not rerun for years. So that hype was warranted before maybe not now but still a good addition to any box for sure anyway i made two teams and yeah this is a bit of a weird one i looked at like what content can i make the most use of aka in and then i saw arena brook and i was like oh <laughs> Uh, Akainu is pretty good both on stage 4 and stage 5 if only I could use him both stages and then it's like I can if I use Kaido how do I do a decent team fitting Kaido in and I ended up putting Sugar and then I had to think about Akainu's condition oh I need 4 quick probably want a Dex as well for stage 4 and yeah that's basically how we ended up with this team and I will say that this is a pretty bad team, don't use it. I had overlooked some things. The major thing I overlooked is the hunger on the revive. But it ended up working and since the team worked, I was like, okay, we're good, let's go with it. <laughs> but if it hadn't worked, I would have done something else probably. Anyway, going to use Karasu here, uh, make Akainu ready. Now I use Akainu special to remove the attack down and the paralysis. After that, we can use sugar, get the attack boost. Uh, I only make Ray to toy, but it is what it is. We're not going to be able to make use of sugar's increased chain anyway, so not a super huge deal. And yeah, final stage. So basically the plan here is uh, we use Big Mom, uh, remove the damage threshold and uh, uh, damage reduction. Then we use Kaido so I can use Akainu again. But the problem is that Kaido does an ore boost, which Brook doesn't allow. And what Brook does then is that his special binds you. But luckily we do have Karasu who conveniently removes special bind. So we can use Karasa again, this lets us use Akainu again, and the Akainu will give us the death down cell pro conditional. And then I can use Sugar Super Type to at least get an ore boost as well. And we still have the chain lock from Big Mom. So still some damage, but yeah, you see this team is pretty scuffed. Uh, one thing I overlooked was the fact that obviously you can't use ship specials. Uh, with Kaido, uh, I just forgot about it, so that was another thing I overlooked. But since we did enough damage, like this was fine, but yeah, not removing hunger, a bit of a bigger deal, let's be real. But yeah, we do kill, so that's dope. But yeah, now we get the slot bind and the hunger, so we don't do much damage. Uh, I got pretty lucky that Sugar got the matching orb there, otherwise we'd been in trouble. But yeah, that let me kill, so I was like, okay, since it worked, well, at least the showcase was a success, so I'll just go with it. But yeah, I made one more team with Akainu, and we're going to do some Grand Voyage, Buggy level 5. Uh, I remade, remade a team I've done before. Not sure if it's exactly like this, like I know I made teams with the Legend Wanko. I know I made a team with Usopp Yasop. I can't remember if I used them together. But yeah, this is a pretty cool team in theory. But yeah, I think this mostly will showcase just how silly this Grand Voyage can be. Like it's pretty easy now since we have a Super Tandem Law that is amazing for this, but you're going to see here that not having Super Tandem Law with his uh, Super Tandem to add extra damage, even with four big buffs, you barely have enough damage. It's pretty silly. 
And yeah, one problem with this team, as you'll see here when we enter stage three, is that we get too much recovery bind. This is a common problem when you make teams for this content. But yeah, uh, I knew we had a strat around this, which, well, it's the bug stall, so we can just bug stall away it. Basically, you, you, you can afford one turn of stall before going to the final stage. But I need to stall two turns. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll just tap, restart the game, and now one more turn of recovery by will be gone. This works nicely since Luffy heals so much, so we don't have to be afraid of dying. And yeah, with that, the recovery bind will be gone. Final stage. So only thing now is that I set up the super swap for Usopp Yasop. I already super swap Sabo and Ace because this will let Sabo or this will let Ace resist the despair, so we don't have to deal with that. At the final stage, which is pretty dope. Okay, final stage now. So we won't get any despair, but we will get bind and we will get special bind. Both pretty annoying. Especially the special bind. Since it's seven turns and the subways only removes five turns. Which is why we have the Sabo support on Luffy. I know a lot of people hate seeing that, but yeah, this isn't really meant to be a new accessible. Buggy team, it's just a bonsai Akainu team, I want to make, the, make a cool team with him. But yeah, Usopp Yasop gives us a conditional this stage. Uh, Luffy get, gives us recovery orb so we can heal up. And we do get a 3 turn orb boost from Sabo Ace. And with Luffy Captain, Iwanko gives 3 turns color affinity and attack boost. So we're pretty good damage wise than you will think. And this st stage, it's very true, you see how much damage we do. But yeah, after this, the damage will go down a lot, mainly because we won't have any chain boost left, which is the problem, but we have the attack boost, we have the ore boost, we have the color affinity. Uh, we will use Akino now to remove the attack down and give a two turn self proc death down conditional. So yeah, it's a bit silly, you feel like this is so much buffs that this should be an easy kill, especially with the final tap on Luffy, but no, this is actually super high investment. It just annoys me because it's so dumb. Like, it's hard to even make teams without Super Ten on Law. And yeah, the damage is going to be even tighter next day, since we have some barrier to remove a bit of damage, and... We lose the base attack boost as well, which did add a bit of extra damage. But in terms of survivability, there's no issues here. Obviously, this is a resilient socket team. And I repeat this every time. This resilient socket strat only works against this Grand Voyage. You can't reset against any other Grand Voyage. You have to redo the entire run. I do get very lucky though and <laughs> kill without it. But you see the damage here. Very, very tight. So yeah, I can't really recommend the team, but that's my Bonsai Aka in the showcase. Wouldn't surprise me if I use him in another team in the future. But yeah, this is what I got for now. And as said, I got lucky here. Survived first try with resilient sockets. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.